Hello guys, today we continue exploring the new LiveWire 3 from scratch based on my course, recent course that I've launched this week. And today will be a third free video from that course, the last one free on YouTube. It will be about live validation and live update. So basically, if you have a form, by default, all the dynamic elements happen when you submit the form or on the next server request. What if you want to validate, for example, or change something on typing like this? So whenever someone types something, you immediately do some validation or do some transformation. So if we look at the network tab in the browser as we type, nothing happens from XHR requests. But if we hit save, then we have update of live wire. This is how it works by default. So when we have the wire submit save on the form, only then the server request happens. But if you add, for example, wire model live, let's see what happens then. We refresh the page, we type in the title and then update is called on every keystroke. It's not exactly on every, there's some debounce. So if you type in a few characters it will be one update from what i remember the default debounce is 200 milliseconds but anyway it's in live and what you can do with that is to call live validation in your component you would have public function updated value there's a general updated for any value and then you check which property is updated but if you're looking for update on specific property you can do update title if title is the name of your property in our case we're using form objects from a previous video if you haven't seen one from yesterday i will link that in the description below that's why the name of our function should be camel case form title and then what happens you can call this form validate validating the form let's see it in action refresh the page we start typing and as you can see validate happens immediately even before submitting the form and it's not only about validation you can do whatever here for example this form body you can set the value to the body as we type for example a typical example would be slug maybe body is not the best example so if you have a slug field it would be auto generated from title let's do that in the body actually str slug from this form title like this and let's remove the validate for now. We refresh, and as we type, as you can see, the body is sluggable in live mode. Again, without page refresh, and again, without writing JavaScript. Also, another thing, maybe you don't want it to be live as in many server requests. Maybe you want to perform some action only when someone typed something and clicked tab or clicked away from the field. For that, instead of wire model live, you can do wire model blur like this. So now if we refresh, we type, no server request yet. We type, nothing yet. But if we hit tab, as you can see, that operation happens. So this is, in my opinion, more practical. Instead of live validation, in very rare cases, you need actually live validation with many server requests. Blur is kind of a middle ground between nothing happening and everything happening in live mode. So yeah, this is what I wanted to demonstrate in general about Livewire and three videos on this channel. The core thing, you bind the properties to the blade inputs and then you work with them in dynamic way, validating, submitting, changing values and building the full modern experience on the web for your users. Again, I keep repeating without writing JavaScript. And of course, there's much more to Livewire so you can browse through the lessons of the course, 30 lessons in total, all updated to Livewire 3. And if you have any more topics that I haven't covered in the course, comment on the course itself or in the video description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.